changes will happen. You don't always know which channel spanners will flank or how many, but the stream is likely to make an end run around some of your channel spanning dams. So one thing we've learned in this project is about letting go and letting the stream do the work and not being able to micromanage each spot and decide exactly what will happen there. Just trusting that overall throughout the project reach, we know that we're adding a lot more roughness. We're seeing the stream widen, the stream bed is coming up, the channel length has increased dramatically, which means the slope is now less. So all of these good things are happening in the big picture, and you have to kind of let go of wanting a channel spanner right here and a deflector dam right there, because it's a very dynamic technique and the project will change a lot as time goes by. One of the first pieces of advice that we got from Michael Pollock when we were starting out at a different project site was, don't be afraid to fail, because your failures might turn into something great. And that may be the best advice we've gotten throughout the last several years. So, don't be afraid to fail. Give it your best shot. Be open to letting the stream choose how to interact with your structures. Adapt accordingly and ask other people what's working well for them. We'd love to hear about your projects, your challenges, your successes, and lessons learned. You can email info at okanaganhighlands.org or find Okanagan Highlands Alliance on social media. We'd love to hear from you.